precautions we are taking uh, are, are of course of what we've been told to keep sanitizing to keep yourself clean to keep yourself indoors to make sure that even groceries that are coming in um, has to be washed and sterilized and um, uh, making sure that no one steps out even if you know you're at home to keep yourself clean your hands clean um, you know I think these are the most important things and um, just to carry, carry I mean uh, going by what the guidelines are being told um, by the healthcare experts um, and yeah I think that's the only thing we can do to make sure that our family and our loved ones are safe the only message I can give to everyone out there is whatever is being told. I think it's the most important part of this virus is the fact that, you know, it's not spread by us. Um, it's spread by us going out. It's not a virus that is spread on its own. I think we as citizens need to do our part of just staying at home and uh, just respecting whatever is being told to us um and follow the guidelines and, and you know don't read too much of negative um whatever's out there on the media and stuff don't read too much know your facts and just go through that in the day and just make sure that you're doing whatever's being told and other than that the most important part is to be positive and uh, do some form of exercise in the day that will keep your mental as well as your physical strength um, to deal with whatever's going on and the fact that you don't get stagnated into one place you know watching just TV or whatever make use of the time do something that you enjoy and um, you know yeah I think that's more important and the fact that uh, you know um, like I said that um, this time will never come back so we will look back on this time one day and just think to ourselves that yeah wow we had this time at home as a family and you know it, it's all about what you do about it so enjoy it as much as you can and uh, wherever you can um, spread the message make sure your friends are all safe and your family are all safe and make sure that they're all following the required guidelines of whatever's being told to us and uh, yeah and help whoever you can i think that's very important as well at this time of the day everyone needs to be united and stand together and make sure that everyone's helping each other through this time how has life changed post the coronavirus i think um, it's changed in many ways i think everyone has realized what's the most important thing in life you know at this point of time um you're being with your loved ones, the family time that's spent, the, which is the most valuable time, um, your health, these things are the most crucial things that you realize that you can't take for granted. Um, especially with the amount of people out there who are suffering, um, it really does put things into perspective. And I think that, um, you know, no amount of money can by this time and uh, you know the the way the mother nature has changed in the last few weeks the things that we used to take for granted i mean uh, seeing Mount, the himalayas from um uh, jalandhar which has never happened never ever have we even heard about it that something like this is possible these are things that have happened because of the fact that there's no traffic there's no pollution there's no air pollution there's no um the the visibility the air it's all clear you know i think that is something that you realize that wow you know um you've got animals walking on the road uh this is the things that you realize and you you put things into perspective that we don't own the planet we coexist and it's time for them to enjoy the planet as much as we have and to respect the planet i think this is the most important thing that i mean in the last 10 years i think so much has been spoken about with global warming and nothing has been done about it nothing much has been done about it i think we have all tried to raise an awareness and uh, take um, certain things into consideration but 
I think at a time like this where we are forced to stop using our cars, we're forced to stay at home, we're forced to not um, go out. This is where uh, there's been a huge change in the world and it just proved that what it can do by not having so much pollution, the 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 air, uh, the purity of the air, what effects that has on our health, on the trees, on the oxygen that we're taking in so many things it's all like a circle and i think this circle is now coming into its full form and i, I think as you know um, as citizens we're realizing the most important part of what's going on with the you know with coronavirus there's other pros that we have learned from this and i think that's more important my daughter in fact is absolutely loving it she's loving being at home uh, she's uh, enjoying all the time of in the day of you know um, playing on her slide to you know um, getting her dolls and playing um, with her dolls and her you know her doll house and we're having teddy bear picnics we're doing different different things in the day and she's loving it I think she's never had this much of time as a family together uh, and I think she's really um, cherishing this and I think it's all about her um, the focus on her um, and and just the focus on each other as a family I think that's what we're really enjoying the fact that her virgin is also learning to cook and he's enjoying it he's been making a couple of dishes in the day and um, uh, sometimes his uh, it's his duty to make the, the dinner um, where I rest so I think it's nice that uh, we're all sharing the the chores and we're sharing the responsibility and uh, that's what it's about when you're in a family and you know we're under such circumstances everyone has to chip in um, you know well, sometimes he'll bath her and I'll cook or um, he, uh, I'll bath her and uh, you know I'll cook or he'll cook so it's 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 nice to share the duties and um, it's nice to just spend this time I think we're all gonna go back to normal life we're all gonna go back to running um, after you know the work or whatever it is a regular routine and I think it's nice that um, we're just taking a breather this is the most important part I don't think we'll ever get it back again and I think it's time that we just look at the positives to this and not think negative and just value this time we have together today. Yes, um, I think this kind of standstill is much needed. Um, of course, the circumstances are not the greatest outside. But this kind of family time that we're spending and this kind of time that we're forced to spend at home um, where we know that there's no work, uh, when there's no travel, there's no meetings, there's no friends, there's just us. I think that's uh, it was a much needed time for everyone, I think, to just take a break, to step back, to realize what's more important um, and uh, that everyone's just running, running. And to just slow down and just to rest, I think God has given us this chance to spend this time together. And we're doing so many things in the day. We're, we're really making use of the time. Um, I think we really, um, we've enjoyed the, the days that we're spending together. We're, um, you know, cooking, um, doing yoga, uh, playing with Hinaya, teaching her, um, her, you know, what, regular whatever she was learning in school um, you know I anyway sit down and you know um, uh, educate her uh, read to her play games jigsaws so many things we're doing in the day I'm learning my piano um, so I'm practicing that we're watching movies we're doing so many things in the day and I think uh, it's nice it's nice that uh, you know we don't need to be outside to enjoy each other's company we, we're inside to enjoy and I think that's really nice that we're getting this time um, because especially I can't speak for everyone but I can speak for myself that as a family we didn't get much time together it was just a couple of days here and there and I think my daughter's loving it the most the fact that she's seeing both parents at home together with her 
and uh, she's really uh, making full use of it and i think it's nice to see that um, this happiness on each other's faces also i want to mention the fact that when this lockdown is over i think the most important part is how we're going to get out of this lockdown and i don't think everyone should just rush to leave and to go out and start your daily routine again so quickly i think it's a step by step process and i think uh, uh, you know we need to take it very slow because this is not something that will just vanish overnight it will be something that will take time and uh, people should just not think that the lockdown is over and it's okay to go back to normal life so quickly i think uh, just you know be patient